<laughs> okay, I guess, I guess, like, you can mute the, uh, or not, I guess she hung up, never mind! <laughs> so much lag, oh no! <laughs> Kira, I was gonna say that you could mute the, uh, the stream because we were on Skype call, but, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I love you, Wormpool! <laughs> I stayed in the dining room, knowing that the table had to become a buffet table. As I looked around the room carefully, I noted that the floor needed uh, waxing and the table surfaces needed major dusting. Oh yes, yes, Kira, we are going to fight after this. Probably while we're watching the Legend of Zelda cartoon series. <laughs> My boy! <laughs> Eric came up to me, lowered a small mop and bucket he had brought in onto the floor, and rolled his sleeves up higher on his arm before looking at me with a raised eyebrow. Are you sure you want to work with me with cleaning this place up? It'll be a lot of cleaning and tidying. Plus, we have to move the chairs to the corner. I shook my head, rolling up my sleeves and walking to the table, grabbing a hold of a chair. I think I can handle lifting a couple of chairs and moving them. Eric uh, smiled at me with a soft chuckle before following my lead. Eventually, we had moved all the chairs to the corner of the room, and he had, or Ed had begun, uh, begun cleaning the room and the table. Silence consumed the air as we both focused on cleaning. I decided to start mopping the, uh, the floor, but as I stepped forward, the bucket, or towards the bucket, whoops, uh, my foot rolled over a small fluffy object, causing me to slip. Oh no, is it that rabbit that we forgot? Ah! Before I hit the floor, however, I wound up in the arms of Eric. In the arms of the angel! <laughs> Staring up at him in a dance-like dip while gripping onto his shirt. His face was a pure concern as he held on and looked down at me. Are you alright, princess? Uh... Should we just nod or push him away and stand up, guys? I say just nod. <laughs> what do you guys say? Just nod or should we push him away? Okay, so we have two for just nod. I'm looking at you, Wormpole and Kira! <laughs> no! Don't say no one likes him! I love him! <laughs> He's my baby! Cause it's Chris! <laughs> I don't even like calling this character Eric. I just call him Chris. <laughs> okay, so Wormpool, are you saying to just nod then? Oh god. Ugh, my runny nose. Okay, so we have three for just nod and one to push him away. So, guess what, Kira? We are going in. All I could do was nod as I stared at Eric. He was genuinely concerned. There was no flirtation or smirk on his face. It was cute to see a new side of him. <sighs> Eric let out a small sigh in relief. That's a relief. You didn't twist your ankle, did you? <laughs> yeah, Kira, we're totally gonna fight. We're gonna take it outside, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Gently, I felt Eric's arm dip under my knees so he could lift me up bridal style. <gasps> oh, 
I gripped tighter onto his shirt before he sat me on the table and knelt down to look at my feet. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't have a foot fetish. Please! Oh no! I... I'm really fine! Eric didn't speak as he gently looked over my ankles, lightly massaging them to test for pain. I didn't feel any pain. I felt pleasure. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> Ah, no! I bit my lip as Eric gently massaged his fingers over my skin. <laughs> I'd had foot massages before, but Eric had amazing skill. Each touch was, er, each touch and press sent a wave of pleasure running up my spine. I had to fight to hold back a moan. Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> though, didn't shift to any mis mischief or seduction. <laughs> it remained as concerned as ever. He was full of surprises. <laughs> I know what is even happening! I can't! Uh, eventually... <laughs> When I get a partnership with Twitch, I know which, uh, which emoticon I have to make. I have to make the oh god emoticon. <laughs> Eventually, he finished looking over my feet and smiled in relief. He slowly stood up and smiled as you or his usual smile at me with a small giggle. You were right, princess. You were fine. Eric gently lifted me off the table and lowered me to the floor before placing a swift kiss onto my forehead and continuing his work. I stood there for a moment before slowly walking to the bucket and cleaning as well. My heart continued to pound as we both finished cleaning that room. The hour of the house party had arrived. In my mind, I kept double and triple checking the essentials for the party. Knowing my dad, he invited his business partners and executives of the Anderson Company to show me off. I stood in front of my mirror in my room, staring at my form as a million thoughts ran through my mind. It was just a housewarming party, but at the same time it wasn't. It was my chance to show my dad that I was better than his expectations. It was just, or it was a chance for me to see my parent, er, uh, to, eh, for me to see my parents. What? Okay, they need to fix that. <clears throat> because, with the way that it's worded, she's going to see both of her parents as a woman. But okay. <laughs> it was my test to see if I was really ready to live on my own. Well, not truly alone. I had the incubi to thank, but even so, I didn't have my dad guiding me or my mom helping me through living alone. A knock on my door broke my thoughts, surprising me. Who is it? Hey, are you okay in there? Your parents should be here soon, so you should hurry getting ready. <laughs> yes, Logan. My parents are a woman. <laughs> and no, Kira, no. That's right, I did say no. <laughs> well, I'm ready, but... But what? I'm sure you look fine, Anderson. Just come on out. All right. Oh, they're kind of cute, too. Oh, my God, look at our dress. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. It's red and black and off the shoulders. Oh, no. With Incubi in the house. Five of them. No. <laughs> as soon as I opened the door to the hall, I watched as Naomi and... Or Naomi's and Suzu's faces uh, turned from smiles to complete awestruck stares. Wh what? Dude, you look hot. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you look amazing. Where did you get that dress? 
from my butt? <laughs> oh god, what am I, five? <laughs> I've had it for a while. <laughs> okay, so Logan is calling that there's gonna be neck kissing. I think there will be too. I've had it for a while. I just never had the chance to wear it. I figured I might as well bring it out now. I stepped out of my room and closed my bedroom door behind me as I walked down the hall to the grand lobby. The incubi stood waiting for me at the bottom, all dressed to the nines as, er, as proper servants. Oh my god. Can I just say <laughs> that Eric looks amazing? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I got this dress for my butt bag. <laughs> oh god, I love you, Logan. Okay, I love everybody in this chat. <laughs> Whoa, they really know how to dress well, don't they? Yeah. I was slightly taken aback on how great the boys looked in uniform. Each had the poise of a perfect gentleman, even Sam. I slowly began to climb down the steps with Suzu and Naomi behind me. The boys watched as I descended the staircase one step at a time, like knights waiting for their princess. I felt my face slightly flush, but I, could, but I quickly shook my head to try and regain my thoughts. As I reached the last step, James offered his hand out to me and walked me down that final step, smiling. As beautiful as a princess, miss. Right, exactly. Our dress does match Eric best. Thank you. So, are you prepared for tonight? Uh, okay, now we have a choice. <clears throat> as ready as I'll ever be, yes, I'm ready. Or, to be honest, no. I am very much wanting to say yes, I'm ready. Because... As she said, she wanted to prove to her parents that she exceeded their expectations and that she was a real woman, quote-unquote. <laughs> Alright, so two for we're ready. What do you say, Wormple? Wormple! <coughs> okay, yeah! Three for we're ready! Let's do this! I had to be confident in my skills. My dad expected a lot out of me already. If I faltered at this party, who knows what he would think of me? I had to assure myself in every word that came out of my mouth that I was ready. The other boys smiled assuringly at me. Ah, my nose. Sorry. <laughs> Which made me feel a little better about everything. I looked at my phone and marked the time. Almost right on cue, the doorbell rang. I gulped. I could practically feel my dad's aura from behind the door. Sam and Eric quickly rushed to the door and opened the double doors wide open to reveal my parents, both dressed in their best. Hey, Mom! Hey, Dad! Oh, my. I didn't know your bequeathment came with servants. <laughs> your body is ready, Wormple. So is mine. <laughs> it was probably overlooked. Besides, who would deny good service? I was completely shocked. My parents didn't question the boys. They didn't ask for verification or anything. I looked to the boys and noticed Sam and Eric staring intently at my parents. Were they using their powers on them? They had to be. There was no way they'd be okay with this otherwise. I guess the servants counted as belongings to the house. My mother quickly rushed to me and gave me a large hug. I hugged her back, inhaling her perfume. It had only been a couple days, but living away from the ones who raised me was hard. My mother soon let, or let me go and looked at my outfit. Oh, gorgeous! 
He looks so...